Hi, I'm David Rudens. I'm the director of the Centre for Advanced Imaging. I'm also a neurologist and I'd like you to meet a patient, Brian, who will tell you about his medical history and the role that imaging played throughout its course. So Brian, can you tell us how old you are? I'm 29. And you're working? Uh, I used to work up until the accident a year ago, mm -hmm. but then they couldn't hold my job and I've been searching for work ever since. What happened a year ago? Oh, basically, I was, I was driving home from work. I'd had, I'd had a pretty long day. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it probably didn't help I was out drinking the night before. But on the way home, I started to get a funny feeling in my stomach mm -hmm. and I don't remember anything actually after that. Did anyone see what happened? Yeah, yeah. He said that the ammo had talked to the driver of the car behind me and that he said I'd just run through a red light and got T-boned at the intersection. Mm. I mean, I wasn't speeding or anything, I was only getting about 60, but... Were you wearing a seatbelt? Yeah, you always do, yeah. So what happened to the other driver? Oh, I think they said a few cuts and bruises. My car was written off. And, and then they took you to hospital? <coughs> yeah. So what, what do you remember about your time in hospital? Not much really. I, mean, I was feeling pretty sick the whole time, so... I do remember I spent 10 days in ICU and then another month in rehab. And I don't remember much of ICU because, you know, I was strapped to a ventilator the whole time. But I do have a scar on my right arm and on my stomach where they took out my spleen. Gee, it sounds like you had a really rough time in ICU and uh, after the accident, but you're back on your feet now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was pretty hard slog and rehab, but, yeah, but now I've got this new problem. Tell me about the new problem. About, I guess, about three weeks ago, mm -hmm. I just had that same funny feeling and the same thing happen again. What were you doing at the time? My girlfriend and I, Jackie, we just went out to dinner and I was about to propose. And I had the ring and everything. And then, basically, I started to get that funny feeling again in my stomach, out of the blue. You weren't just nervous, were you, being about to propose and stuff? No, well, I think that's what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had that same butterflies and mm -hmm. that same, you know, the rush you get, mm -hmm. nervous, but... Well, what happened after that? Well, that feeling started to go from my stomach into my chest and mm -hmm. into my head. Mm -hmm. I got a metallic taste in my mouth. Then next thing I remember, I was in the hospital. And did your girlfriend uh, see what happened? She said that my face went really blank and I started to make mm, noises and chewing. Mm -hmm. And then I started to grab my clothes with my hands. In both, both your hands? Uh, just, the, just, just the right hand, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like this, All right. I remember. Mm -hmm. and, and what did your girlfriend do? I don't think she knew what to do, to be honest. It was, um, yeah, it's pretty new for her. So she basically tried to get me back onto the chair, but I wasn't cooperating at all. And so then I fell off my chair and started jerking. Did she say that went on for, uh, for long? All, all I remember was waking up a while later with a splitting headache, <laughs> and I think I bit my tongue, and I had wet myself. And what happened next? Well, Jackie, she called the ambulance mm -hmm. and they stripped, took me straight to emergency. Mm -hmm. They ran a few blood tests mm -hmm. and then they sent me to you. Mm -hmm. um, I think they gave me an EEG. Mm -hmm. Have you had any other spells like this before or since? Not that I can remember. I mean, I've had, I've had, a, I've had that feeling a few times since, mm -hmm. but none of those spells again. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if we can figure out what's going on.